your scene in at home decor. Yeah. And that's why I wanted to create it. I love I mean, what they stand for. I love how beautiful they are. And they sell for hundreds of dollars. And I figure out a way that you can do it DIY without spending. I promise. Money. I've seen one. I've seen one listed for five hundred bucks, asking five hundred dollars to buy yes. one of these. And and they're, like you say, they're stunning. And when I heard that you were going to be making them DIYing them today, I was very excited because, yes. like you say, they're gorgeous. They okay, really so are. Before we kind of go into the first okay. step, I think it's important to kind of go through what materials we'll need to for this. But I'm I'm surprised by sort of. So how how simple it is, yeah. <laughs> so minimal. Okay, so I have two different options in terms of a base. I have just some good old cardboard right here, so you can see just some cardboard. Easy enough. And the another option for a base, um, I just have you can you, honestly you could use a placemat. Yep. You can use anything that is round. So I got these online. Uh, these are just like ropes that are on wood bases, but you can just get them online. And this is feather trim. That's all this is. You can get it at the fabric store, you can get it online as well, and some hot glue. And then we're ready to go. Yes. We're ready to build. Okay, so let's start with uh, either base. So sure, if, let's start if we're going to work with the cardboard, what do we need? So this is where when you want to create a big one that is very impressive, like our yeah, centerpiece yeah. right there. So you can see, this is what I did. This is 24 inches. And what I did was I just created that circle and cut it out using an X-Acto knife. So it's just a big piece of cardboard okay. at the um, craft supply store. Sure. Took my center a little bit higher than center, but center and just did a straight line down. Okay. And all you want to do is, is then put some hot glue on here and then look at you do this because what, you, what essentially you're doing is you want to create that concave shape. Right. You want that, so three, that a good base. sort of three-dimensional look. Yes. Okay. So a solution for if you don't have or want either want to do that or you already have something like this around uh -huh. to create that sort of look of them kind of flaring out, take your base and Cameron, okay. if you want to as well, sure. you have a glue gun right there. Great. Uh, so what you do is you take your rope and truthfully, these were bought separate, but look at how perfect that they actually match. So all this can be bought at the craft supply store as well. And like I said, if you have some plates or some uh, place mats, this could be used for that as well. So take your rope and you just hot glue it on. And this is where it's kind of like a really cool and easy way. When I'll show you what I mean by that. Look okay. at it. So now you take your feathers and you kind of get an idea. I, I like to place it out first and kind of get an idea of how how much I need. Because truthfully, you can add it in, uh, add some more in afterwards. And then, okay, this is what I do. So you this do... is the trick right here is how, I mean, this is what I was trying to figure out, how you would attach the feathers onto your base like this. So just a little bit more hot yep, glue. some hot glue. Okay. And then watch this. It's very exciting. And look at how that makes that flare out. Do you see that? And it will instantly start to stay. And look at that. It creates that really beautiful fullness that you're wanting in this. And then if you have extra like I do right here, you just cut it and you can reuse this on the next one. And you just keep on kind of gluing yes. in layers and, and then you can just layer it in like that? So the first two require the rope. So I would do the rope gotcha. again. I see. And then okay. I would do another. And I have one that I'm going to swap out Beautiful. to. Beautiful, yeah. So that you can see the center. So you can see here for this one in particular, Cam. Yeah. Uh, you can either do uh, you can either do a bunch that are one color, or you can do multiple colors, which I thought was really see, that beautiful is here. Stunning. Yeah, it's spectacular, really. Okay, so you can see I got to the center here, and now I want to cover this. So what you do then is you take your feathers and you actually pull them out just like that, and I put a bunch of hot glue in the center here. And you just fill it with the feathers, and it's going to stick on perfectly, just like that. It's so simple and easy, and that's all you need to do. It's such a great idea, and I think the way when you kind of layer in the different colors like you've done, we've got some shots of uh, some of those on the wall. Yeah. It really kind of makes them pop and almost like accentuates that three-dimensional look to them, too. It's so beautiful. Now, what oh. about actually hanging them on the wall? Oh. What would you recommend for that? So, this is going to depend on what you want to uh, what you want to do to your wall, basically. Yeah, well, so, sure. if you want to put a hole in the wall, you can absolutely use a nail. So, what I thought was kind of funny was that, that big one, I wanted to create the keep that concave look where everything comes out. So I actually put a, a nail in the center and then put that on the wall. Okay. Right? But you can hang it like you would almost with any picture. The the lighter ones just have tacks. And so it just depends on And there's want. Yeah, they're so hang light like that it's not a big deal anyway. Exactly. So either way you they're go. They're super light, especially if you do just the cardboard as the, the backdrop. But another thing that I really like too, that does make a statement just to do one, but I also like adding the different, like the look of the sort of basket weave on there along with everything. And I liked having a bunch up there because it makes a big statement with just minimal effort. It makes a statement. It's got such a cool feel and vibe it'll bring to your home uh, as well. So, yes. Maria, thank you so much. You literally 
We're saving lots of money today, that's for sure. And we're show. pretty. For sure, and we're looking <laughs> fantastic. Uh, make sure you go to HallmarkChannel.com. Full instructions will be there, and you can make this your own, everybody. Now, coming up next, Larissa mm -hmm. shares tips for a successful kitten adoption. Come on back. Aww. Yeah. 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 Yeah.